I'm losing my memory. Sometimes I think about what my very last memory will be before the candle goes out. I think it's, yeah, collectively really challenging for all of us to say goodbye to this show. And this job, I mean, it's a dream on every single level from the people that we get to work with and the cast and crew and the fact that we shoot in Los Angeles and we all get to go home and sleep in our beds at night and be with our families. Like it's, the, the work is challenging. I don't show up to work any day, like not grateful for the material and, you know, driving through like the Paramount it's gates. Like, it's just, it's, it's going to be so horrific to say goodbye in a couple months. I haven't really wrapped my brain around it yet. <laughs> I would just wish that I could make time stand still. It's, it's all of the cliches it is you know life in technicolor uh it's a boundless love that you never could have imagined it's it's all of the things it's exhausting and exhilarating and like everything in between all of that it yeah it just colors your world in an entirely new way the plan is to sort of pick up in june and july of 2022 of next year and go on the road in the way that we had intended like a week before the world shut down because of COVID. So I, I feel like we'll have this fully realized tour of music from Silver Landings, music from my next record that'll be out sort of probably right around the same time as we tour next year. And we'll be able to bring Gus with us. So we'll have a bus with mom and dad and Gus and and playing music every night. And I'm like, it's, it's the dream. I'll have just finished This Is Us and it's going to be a fun year, 2022.